What's going on gamers? A lot of people have been asking me what I've been running on my Solar Titan. I soloed the dungeon on my Titan and kind of wanted to go over the build, what I figured would be the best for both boss encounters and how I changed the Bonk Solar Titan builds to kind of always keep myself alive, have unlimited restoration and still put out high DPS. If that's something you're looking forward to, maybe you should hit that sub button because you're probably not subbed. I'm just kidding though, but for real, we're trying to get to 100k i'd really appreciate it if you could hit that button and push us to our goal but anyways let's get into the build so what we're going to be running on our solar titan for the first encounter i like burning mall spin to win it's kind of memey if you don't want to i understand but i do like the damage that i can put out and also cause ignitions and get the ignition damage barricade's going to be all up to you when i'm on titan solar i really don't need my barricade so a tower barricade could be like a last minute savior obviously we're going to be using the throw hammer and healing grenade is definitely going to be a huge part in this build because we're using healing grenades to proc restoration and we will be using an ember of empyrean fragment once you hit a restoration proc solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you so literally throw the grenade get some hammer kills or use your solar weapons and have unlimited restoration the next fragment is kind of up to you ember of char i just put on because my solar ignitions will spread scorch and i can spread ignitions with my super if i slam the ground then spin but it's totally up to you ember of ashes is definitely a must have apply more scorch stacks to targets when you're spamming your mini hammer everywhere and ember of torches to make myself radiant to get extra damage aspects will be soul invictus and roaring flames roaring flames make sure that you always go into damage when you throw your bonk hammer at the boss you'll see here when i'm in damage i'm always proccing roaring flames times three and using tractor cannon which brings me to the exotic of this build syntheseps bionic enhancements increased melee lunge range improved melee and super damage when you're surrounded this is why i use my super when i have roaring flames times three and bionic enhancements going over some of the mods on on your helmet you're going to be running double hands-on to always get that super energy back because you're getting a lot of solar hammer kills and I'm going to use Harmonic Siphon because I couldn't put on Solar Siphon. So I will be making orbs with solar weapon kills. This is where the gauntlets get interesting because heavy handed every time you use your bonk, every time you use your bonk, your powered melee final blows will create orbs of power. And here's how you plan to the unlimited restoration. If you run double impact induction, when you cause damage with a melee attack, it reduces your grenade cooldown. So every time you throw your hammer, it's going to be charging your solar grenades up. This is huge. Always throw that healing nade, then start terrorizing stuff with your solar abilities or your solar weapons to always keep reprocking restoration. So the first boss you should definitely run void damage resist, double with a concussive if you can. Your legs are gonna run double solar weapon surge and recuperation, just because every time you pick up an orb, it does replenish your health. And every time you throw your hammer, you will make an orb. If you want to play risky, you can take off this and run triple surge. On my class item, I'm going to run double bomber. Every time I use my class ability, I can get my grenade back in case if I don't have that hammer. And time dilation to keep up my surges, but this one is optional. Well, I just want to also talk about what I'm doing in the encounter. I'm always making sure that I'm throwing my bonk hammer. You can use your tractor to weaken enemies to just easily get that one hit on the ogre and witches. But please make sure that you're always cycling through that. If you need to panic, you can always use a... A secondary weapon like a shotgun but pretty much just pay attention to the top of your super bar seeing how many stacks of roaring flames you have roaring flames times three you know it's game time it's gonna be doing a lot of damage and if you're surrounded by ionic enhancements comes into play when i'm going into damage i do switch loadouts and take off tractor cannon and throw on sword with arbalist so simply because when i kill the knight with the bonk hammer i'm standing in a sunspot and i shoot the boss with arbalist i will switch behind the pole and put back on tractor and have about seven to eight ammo and have enough ammo going into dps this is totally optional up to you i know some titans use their hammers and they just want to take down the boss's shield that way but if you get used to it i think it'll help you out in your solo runs once you take that shield down go to town tractor super bonk them as many times as you can pay attention to your roaring flames times counter and go to work this should get you through the encounter pretty easily but again it's totally up to you if you want to use this strat or not
Going into the final boss encounter, I do want to point out I'm using the same mods, same fragments, same everything. It's just that I switched my chest piece to double arc resist because we hate those moths. I am running the Ron Trace Rifle to use it as a solar weapon to keep reprocking my restoration and also shooting the moss with it. I will be switching loadouts going into damage, but for damage on this boss, I like using Briars. So if you're wondering why I'm running Briar's Contempt, I wanted to show you Harmonic Resonance. So if you have the Linear on, a Trace Rifle, and actually the Exotic from Ron, it does count as a weapon that buffs the Harmonic Resonance, you will get a 10% flat damage boost while you're in DPS. Also, if you activate Deeper Origins, this will add an additional 10%, which will give you a flat 20% damage buff overall, which is definitely worth it. But again, if you didn't want to switch to your shotgun going into DPS and you wanted to leave Arbalist on, that's fine. Just, it will only be a 3% buff on your weapon damage instead of 10. After I break the boss's shield, you will see me switch to the Ron shotgun conditional finality because it does give me harmonic resonance times two. It will buff my weapon damage of my briars. And I feel like I have enough time to do that because once you break the boss's shield, the thrall will spawn. You will want to bonk these adds with your hammer to stand in the sunspot to proc radiant and you'll have your healing grenade if things get nasty. And I always like saving my hammers just in case if the boss is just destroying me, flinching me out of my shots and I can at least get some last minute DPS in or save my life. So again, you don't have to swap your weapons around if you just want to simply stick with Arbalist. But I just wanted to show you pretty much how you stay alive with this build and demonstrate Clearing these ads is very simple, but if you miss a bonk camera, you could be in trouble. But I feel like running around with this could be easily a good setup for you and your strats to get the dub. I know with a Titan, there's plenty of things you can use like Xenophage and putting on Actia more rig and just throwing your hammers at the boss to crack the shield and using other weapons. But I just wanted to break it down and pretty much show you like controlling ads on this Titan build is very simple. Number two, Make sure all your ads are clear going into DPS so you can get a nice clean DPS like I am. And of course, hit your shots like I am not because I'm getting flinched. I had, you know, nerves. And for some reason, I just have really troubles honing in on this boss, hitting these burst shots, but I have gotten better. But hopefully this breakdown of the Titan build has helped you and that Bonk lives longer. I appreciate you guys sticking to the end and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.